What's up, guys? It is Jay Beeps here, and welcome to another another rendition of an idea I had. So basically, what happened? I did try to do a Youth Academy Road of Glory with something I had previously, but thanks to a stupid glitch in the board objectives, where I was somehow supposed to raise about 300 million dollars in profit as a side in EFL League Two and in EFL League One, I was, was unable to continue that. So I gotta start again. Start gonna start over at the meeting. Fun, I enjoyed it, so now we're gonna be doing it with Crawley Town. It's also their 125th anniversary, so you know it's also pretty cool. So and, and also another reason why I chose them, board objectives or board expectations are always so low. Uh, it's been a Crawley Town, I always end up thinking of doing a series with them just because of how low their objectives are. And plus, I mean they have pretty nice kids as well. I mean the red's pretty good, but the blue is a away kid is very nice. So we're already starting things off selling Ashley Madison to Rotherham United. At the beginning of this, there's going to be a lot of selling of these players who in real life are at the club because I'm trying to get rid of them as quickly as possible to bring in money for youth scouts to then bring in new players to replace them. Tunnel Cliff has been sold. Sam Matthews has been sold. Frost has been sold. Dallison has been sold. Same for Dave. And with that money, I was able to get a 4-star, 5-star scout and going to be going to Australia for 3 months just to get us some players to just kind of start this entire journey. And a 4-star, four 4-star four scout is heading to New Zealand to do the same. And the first of which is Carter Guest. Not good at all, I'm not going to lie. 62 to 86 potential is the greatest. But he's pretty quick, pretty good passer, pretty good dribbler. So, we'll de won't, won't be a long-term solution, but temporarily could be pretty decent. Grego Cox has been sold. Demba Boy is joining the team. Cameroonian striker. Really low potential. I think he's a temporary solution. Alfie Jones has been sold. Leon and Byrne will be joining the team to play that right back position. Australian. He's only 5'6", which is a little bit short for my liking. But we're just trying to get players into the team. Bradley Eaton is joining to be a goalkeeper. Dunn is going to be around until I can get another competent backup because I want to sell him as quick as possible. Samuel Hopkins is joining the team to be a central midfielder. Tommy Marriott is joining. I'm, I want to sell him as quickly as possible. Same goes for Harley Hutton and Luke French. So at the halfway point in the league, we are currently sitting in 11th. We are three points off of a playoff spot, but can't even really count this because we still don't have a full starting 11 of Youth Academy players, so that could change, we could go up, or we could drop dress. And now that we actually have a little bit more money to spend, we're sending our scouts, 4 star, 5 star, to England for half a year to get some defensively minded players. Just so you guys know, in, in the future, any of my series, if I'm ever, ever sending scouts to Australia or New Zealand, it's because I am broke and pretty much out of money. 4 star, 4 star scout going to Scotland to get some attackers. So we're staying a little bit local, so I'm going to intend to do for a little bit just to kind of get a good base of, you know, British players, and then obviously we'll then expand. Lucien has been sold. Hopkins will be going on a short loan move to Ross County for the rest of the season. Francombe has been sold. H Hessenthaler will be departing once his contract expires. And joining the team from the Youth Academy is Albie Armstrong, English left back, he's 5'8", 71 and 94 potential, nothing really too spectacular about him, but with that potential and also dynamic potential, should be really good one day. So this isn't really like anything special, I thought it was a funny glitch that somehow we have $100,000, or $1,000,000 instead of just saying we have $1 million. so yeah. And with that extra money, I was able to get a 3-star, three 3-star three scout going to Wales just for a little bit. Tom Nichols has been sold. Morgan Pratt will be joining the team from Youth Academy. Nothing too special about him, just should add some good depth. Cameron Clayton, however, is going to be a future world-class player. He's already starting off as a 65 overall center defensive pick. So he's already going to be starting playing every single game for us. He does have 68 to 94 potential, really hoping that's on the higher side. If it isn't the case, dynamic potential then should take over because we're going to be building our team around him, so we'll be playing 
pretty much every single game for the rest of the series. So he should definitely get up there in potential. Now that guy's departing, I don't even want to try to say his name. Lynch is departing with his contract expiring. Same goes for Apaya. And we're finally at some game action. Normally I would play games obviously a lot earlier, but we had to sell so many players, bring in so many players. I didn't want to really play until we had a good batch of these academy players. We are hosting Leighton Orient at Brockwood Stadium. And this is how we're going to be lining up a 4 one 2 2 narrow Eaton is in goal. Frank Hill, Lynch, center back, Bourne, Armstrong, outside back, Clayton, defensive mid, Powell, Payne, center mid. Just as we tight commit and Nichols and Boyle. Uh, not, not everyone from the academy is in here. And I also can't sell all the first team players because they just joined after today, so. But we're kind of integrating them. And I also just want to say this was recorded before EA patched the glitch with these Academy players, so some of these guys will have abnormally skinny arms and just no numbers on the back of their kits. That's just how it works, but I've recorded some episodes since that that glitch has been fixed, so just wait a little bit and everything will be fixed. Here are the highlights. A good 3-1 win. Good, good game, good performance from the boys. We played pretty well. Uh, we were able to execute in crucial moments. And we get our first win playing with this team. And that win was somewhat important. We weren't. Okay, I could have simmed it. We probably would have drawn. Because I think Lane Orient are like... I think they are like 18th or 19th in the league. So it was a very winnable game. But I just played it just to get you know, a little bit more game action. But we are in the playoffs. We are in... This seed so will be facing off against Bradford City. And then we will be facing the winner of Hart Lapool and Swindon Town, who I am actually planning on doing a series in the future with Hart Lapool United. A little bit of a sneak peek. We're going to be using the 2 3 5 formation, so two center backs, three center mids, five forward. And then Swindon Town, I'm thinking of trying something new or experiment. Swindon Town obviously used to be in the Premier League, so my plan is to do a series where I basically the entire focus is to get them back to the Premier League and eventually win the title. So if you would, if you want to, see, if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. But in the first leg, we did end up losing it three to two, which obviously means we have to play the second leg. We're hosting them down one goal in the aggregate. We got to put in a good shift. The lineup is the same. No changes are needed to be made. Here are the highlights.
Okay, so for the neutral, this was probably one of the best games to watch of the season, but unfortunately for us, it does not mean anything. We are knocked out. We will not be going up this year after drawing 3-3 three to three in the second leg. Uh, yeah, season's over. Really good job by the boys. Just needed one extra goal to get through. But it's good because now we actually have a chance. Don't have to focus on getting results next season. We can really just focus on the Youth Academy and bringing in some more players. Seymour Hopkins has been sold. Ashford's leaving. Aiden Simmons is joining the team from the Youth Academy just to add some much needed depth to that defense. I mean, I think we have, yeah, we have eight defenders and like half of them are leaving, so we're left with a back four, so we need some extra help. Rory Long was joining. He's going to be playing that center mid position, but don't know exactly what we do with him. Rob Miller is joining the team to add a little bit of depth at that striker position. Logan Jeffrey is joining the team, and I can tell you from future recordings, you're going to forget about him, and you're going to remember him a lot. He goes out on loan, and then he comes back as a starter. Then he'll like go out on loan, then he'll come back and be a starter, then he'll go out on loan, and then he'll ride the bench, and then he'll come in. And he actually ends up being a pretty crucial player, when I did not expect that at all, because he's an excellent passer, a pretty good dribbler, but there's not much anything special about him. Burn Wynn is joining the team to be a goalkeeper, might be contending for a starting spot, don't know yet. Gordon McNeil will be joining the team, 6'3 playmaker, or 6'3, so with playmaker on is at center mid, could be an absolute weapon in the midfield. Jack Price is joining, nothing too special about him. Connor Price is adding some defensive mid depth. Dave McKenzie maybe can make a run in the starting 11, don't know. Frederick Best could actually make a pretty good striker for us. He's six feet tall, which is an issue I'm predicting that we're going to run into. I'm trying to get tall enough strikers, because obviously, in a regular career mode series, you know, you can just, oh, I need a six foot two striker for whipping crosses into you, just go and get that. I don't have that area of selection with doing this, so... I mean, really, physical traits are the most important thing at this point, and obviously, development plan, dynamic potential, improve the technical side of things. So yeah, in the league, ended up finishing in fifth, with only one point off of a automatic spot, so it was very close. I mean, even, even eighth place was one point off of, actually, they didn't, even, they didn't make it because of goal difference. So it was a very close and even contest, just unfortunately, we could not pull out with the win. Then in the FA Cup, we got knocked out in the third round to Man City 3-1 because, obviously, we're not going to beat Man City. Yet. In the Carabao Cup, we got knocked out in the first round by Carlisle 3-0. Papa John's Trophy got knocked out by Carlisle again 2-1. And, obviously, the promotion playoff semifinal. We lost 6-5 on aggregate. Nichols was our top goal scorer. Kane was behind him, but boy, had 11. So, first youth academy player. Uh, pop up on the goal scoring list. He's really got to take over once everyone leaves. Nichols also led team in assists, so we are really losing our best player in Nichols once the transfer window or once next season starts, which is going to be quite the issue. However, our defensive mid played and had two assists in nine games, so if we can get production like that from our defensive mid, our team should be fine. So yeah, Hessenthaler, Ashford, Craig, Apaya, Morris, Jane, Lynch, and obviously I will be selling Nichols and Powell, so a lot of uh, overturn this offseason. So in the series we've played now 59 games, we've won as many as we've lost, drawn 15, scored more goals than we've allowed, so that's good. But yeah, not pretty boring resume so far, but that's really what it should be expected. So yeah, looking at the team, um, I think be tough. I think that striker position is, even though Boy is pretty solid, I'm thinking, you know, long term that's a, currently a huge issue because we do only have one semi decent striker. Um, back line, center backs could use some work. So we do have some things we do need to focus on next season instead of just, let's just bring in some players and see what happens. So, yeah, guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys did all enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And the next episode should be coming out tomorrow. And it is J. Biebs signing off.